also going to chat with Jeff Evely in Canada. Jeff is the creator of the XXX main RC video series. If you're into radio controlled, especially cars and trucks, you don't want to miss these. Out right now are the XXX main and XXX main squared videos, and he's working on a third as we speak. These videos are edgy and tilt more towards the extreme side of radio controlled, but are a heck of a lot of fun to watch. One of the major shoots that, that sticks in my mind that, that can show people or give people a better idea of what's, what's involved behind the scenes is the helicopter jump. Uh, we jumped uh, an A-scale RC car through a helicopter and what you guys see in the video for about three seconds took us five hours to shoot. Involved ten people, an A-scale car, uh, an RC helicopter, setting up camera angles and, and where the shoot location is going to be. So there's a lot more to it, uh, including the outtakes. That, that whole video scene lasted for about 15 seconds. And, and that shoot, I mean, just to walk you through a shoot day like that, we all got together in the morning and we discussed what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. We had the pilot there, the driver, all the camera guys, all the spotters, and all the, the pit guys that are going to help get everything running. Uh, we already had the shoot location chosen, so w we knew where we were going. We decided to shoot at a, at a BMX track. It had all the transitions and the jumps set up properly, so we didn't have to build any ramps. Decided where all the cameras were going to go. Got the, the driver up on, on the starting gate for the, for the BMX bike, so we had a, a good clear view. Got the helicopter guy just beside the helicopter with the spotter beside him. Fired everything up, shot the helicopter into the air, and, and launched the car. Uh, car hit the ramp, and actually the first, the first shot we did, the car missed the helicopter, went just below it. Uh, the second, second attempt we made is exactly what we didn't want again. It, it all went wrong. The car just barely clipped the, uh, the rotor blade of the helicopter and, and sent the, the helicopter into a spin and into the ground, but just barely. So, so now we had a broken helicopter and a broken car and, and not the kind of footage we were looking for. So we had to decide if we, if we wanted to fix everything and redo the shoot or just call it a day. After a while, we decided, you know, we'll hit the local hobby shop, put all the new parts on it, and, and try it again. So that's what we did. It took us about an hour to fix it up. And the third attempt, everything worked out perfect. The, the chopper's at the right height. We got all the camera angles worked out well, and, and just the whole scene worked out. Uh, we punched the car, went right through the helicopter, blew it to pieces. Like I said, that, that five hour day and, and all the repairs and all the attempts only lasted, I think, less than three seconds in the video. 